Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to deal with changing column names in your data source. And when you try to refresh the same in Power BI, the query breaks and says the new column has not been found. So let's get started with this tutorial. So what I have here is the sample data set with just three columns, order ID, customer name, and Jan sales. Let's first quickly import this particular data set into BI and uh, also recreate the error here to understand what exactly we are trying to achieve. I'm going to click on load over here. Just give it a second while we have this data loaded. I'm going to quickly rename this particular table over here to sales. So I've now got three uh, columns over here, customer name, Jan sales and order ID. So let's say I want to re uh, rename the Jan sales. I'm going to go here to the edit query and then I'm going to uh, double click over here and call this as sales because I just want to have that called as sales instead of having Jan sales, Feb sales, March sales, etc. Right. So and then I'm going to click on close and apply. And uh, what happens now is we've now renamed the uh, table name or the column name here as sales. So let me just now change this to Feb sales. Right. So let's say we've got Feb sales in now with Feb sales as the column name, which has changed, of course. And we're now trying to refresh the file and bring the data into VI. Now, when I go to the home tab here and click on refresh, I get an error saying that the column Jan sales of the table wasn't found. So let's see how we can fix this. So I'm going to go here back to the edit query. So there are a couple of things that you need to do here. So the first thing is I'm going to get rid of rename columns that I have over here. And then I'm going to also delete the change type. So I have now have the promote head promoted headers. So I'm going to click on this FX button over here, which is going to add another step for me and then I'm going to type in table dot column names okay and then open the bracket here and close this over here and press enter so what this is going to do is it's, this is going to list down all the column names that I have in my data source which is order ID customer name and Feb sales now what we need here is the Feb sales so We'll use the curly brackets here to identify the row that we need here. For example, the uh, the way it works in BI is the uh, list starts from zero and not from one. So what I mean is if I click on one here and press OK, I'm going to get the customer name, whereas customer name is the second column. So if I need the Feb sales, uh, which is in the third column, so I'm going to type in two here and press enter. So it's, I'm going to get the last column over here, which is Feb sales. So what I will do is I will copy this particular uh, DAX over here. I'm going to delete this custom step that we added. Okay. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to say rename and then call this as sales. Okay, so it's going to throw up an error saying that Jan sales of the table wasn't found. So what I'm going to do here is instead of Jan sales, I'm going to replace this value with the DAX that we just copied and press enter. So what happens is that we are now dynamically picking up the third column from our data set, which can be Jan sales, Feb sales, March sales or anything for that matter. Right. And then renaming that particular column as sales. I'm going, I'm going to go here and click on close and apply and nothing really changes for now we will see what happens so we've got the data loaded for now so let's come back over here and change this to March sales and then press save and come back over here and click on refresh you will see that it the query has been successfully refreshed and we, without having any error so this is how you deal with the changing column names i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials